<laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. I'm sitting here getting some stuff together. Uh, what's going on, party people? Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm missing something now. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm missing something. Ooh, Hold on. All right. Ooh. I was about to have a fit. Looking for my straw. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What's going on? Hello to you. Bought that. You bought a laptop today. Okay. All right. What kind of laptop you get yourself? It's good. As long as the laptop works, that is what's most important. Y'all know me. I'm trying to get my stuff down here together for my feet. I got this chair. I got this thing. It sits up real high, and the chair sits up so high that my feet can't touch the floor. So I got these yoga blocks down here that I put my feet on and everything, or they just be sitting there dangling. I'm doing good, man. Hey, no fritter, but I got some Starbucks. Caramel ribbon crunch with a little bit of... um. Vanilla bean flavor in there. Man, you ain't got no bone to pick with me. What, what, what What's going on now, Oswald? Oh, yeah. I had to mix in some vanilla bean cream powder flavor stuff in here. That's hitting. That's hitting. That's hitting. Mm. Oh, yeah. That, that's on point there. Yeah. I love caramel. So I was going to try to get a fritter. And I was tired, and I didn't have time today because I've been ripping and running. I had six signings, then it dropped down to five, then it dropped down to four. <laughs> and I got three, to, and I got hands all messed up, three tomorrow and everything. Um, what's going on, man? What's, what, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Man, look, I don't even, I don't even. Mess with no bones. So, what's going on with you, Katrina? All right, just became a Ron. Yeah, you had Ron. Oh my goodness. Um, now I use Dot Verify, so let me be clear on that. This isn't about <clears throat> any other platform. Um, I don't know how those work. I'm not signed up with any of them. The other ones, I personally, and the reason why I'm not signed up with the other ones. I know, man. I know. I know. But I'm going to make it up. Most definitely, I will be there next year. Period. Yeah, everything's straight. We gonna, I will be there. Me and the wife will be there next year. Um, but the, the thing is, a lot of people, I know a lot of notaries hop on to various different RONs. The reason why I'm not on multiple RON platforms is, one, I wouldn't be able to afford it. Two, I don't have enough business coming in to afford it. <laughs> and um, they said, I thought it was November 1st. They said November 6th. Oh, you're talking about this November 6th? Oh, man, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Honestly, I, don't, I haven't even thought, man, I haven't even planned that far out in advance this year. Man, you talking about way up there in New York, too? You know, I you know you you know there's some people up there be looking for me in New York, man. You know some of them notaries don't like me up there in New York, especially them them young cats. Mm -mm. <laughs> but um, I don't um, I don't have enough business coming in um, to to me to justify being on multiple ROM platforms. Um, 
the pricing structure is way too different. Um, I like dot verifies pricing structure. Um, very simple. Um, yeah, now dot verify support isn't the best. Um, you can't just add in a, a notarial certificate. All of that stuff is online on their platform. So I know some of the platforms you do it, you know, on your computer, you know, like using Adobe on your computer. This ain't the same. So it's it's more one of those things like people who like Cadillacs, they just like Cadillacs. No matter how fancy of a car you your dad, you know, you got that uncle who likes, you know, the 76 Cutlass. And no matter what, he thinks a 76 Cutlass is it and ain't, you know, ain't trying to drive nothing else. Or the guy who likes the Ford or the guy that likes Chevy, that's me. I just like Doc Verify. Now, Doc Verify had some problems, and I did have some problems with them today. Oh, man. I had some upload problems, and I'm working through that right now with them because it ate up a lot of my credits. But I, I, they're, I'm sure they're going to work that out and everything because it was a problem on their end. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, like I said, I got my, my Starbucks Caramel Ribbon Crunch. Got that top. What's going on, party people? Call the live. You all, you always catching the live. She acting like she don't be like she just now catching the live after five months. You be you always up in here. Ron, what's going on, Katrina? Okay, the Aces. Yeah, um, I've heard of them. Um, see, I was never a good computer hardware guy since I was a web designer. But my thing is four gigabyte hundred. Okay, I think that'll roll. I think, yeah, four gigabyte um, RAM. I would assume RAM, 128 gigabyte hard drive. Now, I will say 128 gigabyte hard drive might, um, depending on what you're doing, with everything else you're doing <laughs> might get eaten up. So you want to want to use an um, external hard drive. And if you can get a one terabyte external hard drive to put files and stuff on, even maybe the low program, that'll work for you. And stuff. And yeah, I know I had a whole bunch of um yeah, people up there. I didn't think anybody was honestly, I didn't think nobody was coming up there to see me. So I do apologize for not being able to come. Now, depending on where you're at for as a Ron license, it can take who knows how long. Um, I think mine in Virginia, maybe three weeks, something like that. Yeah, I think maybe three weeks. And so, so you say I am and I do. So you have enough business, Ron. Business, yeah. So if you got enough business coming in to support doing multiple platforms, because each platform offers something a little different. Um, so here's the thing: second annual PA Philly conference. And okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And um, and you're in Buffalo, New York. Okay, cool. So um. Dot Verify is running if you pay monthly, like 75 a month, 780 for the whole year. And if you pay the whole year, that comes out to 65 a month. Um, yeah, comes out to 65 a month. And it says he said it takes two weeks. We do okay to approve. So New York, and he's in New York, so yeah, it depends on New York. Um, but yeah, so some of the things that here's the things that I like about dot verify. One, I can set my pricing. I can set my own pricing. Two, they don't charge me for each user that gets in the session. However, they're limited to only four. So it'll be me and two and four other people at the most. Um, three, they don't charge me for every time I stamp. Um, I can stamp as much as I want and I don't get charged for that. So the fee that they charge pay me, I mean charge me and then whatever fee these and all I can say, you have to get online so you can understand the credits because I have a hard time explaining. But basically, just like everybody else, it's a fee that's paid to um verify the person and then um do um and then for your actual Ron session itself. So if you're doing an IPIN, which you can do IPIN on dot verify you will um not use up a whole lot of credits um for that um ron can take up a little bit more but i normally only use four credits four to six credits four credits for the session 
and then one credit for each person that I'm doing the ID verification on. And um, so if I do a round session, basically normally just six credits. And depending on how many you're doing a month, because it's not like I'm doing Ron closings every single day. If I was doing Ron closings every day, like I'm doing loan closing, you know, face to face, shoot, well, I'll be, I'll be banking. I'll be, I'm serious. I'll be like pop, 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 you know. Um, and then the fourth or fifth one that, um, that I like, what Dot verifies that there's no time limit on the video because they record the session. You can say record hours, record my session. And I'm not limited on how much of the recording. So I'm not getting charged extra fees um, for that. They store everything. They store the videos. You can download the videos, notary journal, blog, all of that. Um, I forget the, the duration of it. Um, I know Florida notaries have said something up there that Florida notaries can't use dot verify because it doesn't meet a certain statute requirement for Florida. But those are the main things. And that's why I like it because I'm not using it that much when I do use it. Boom. And one of the things I like, let's say a lot of times I will do free notary sessions. Um, for let's say if a notary con contacted me and say, Hey, I got this notary application that I want notarized. And a lot of times Virginia notaries will call me and ask me, I, I just do it for them for free. There's some people out there. They like me and they say, Hey, I want you to do the notarization of my, um, notary application for the state of virginia they'll put it up online or they'll sit i always ask them to send it to me and then we'll put it up online and then i'll notarize it for them and i don't charge them for that um i like the fact that i don't have to i don't have to charge people and that's one of the benefits that i like about doc verify and i'm not getting charged the only thing you know for the session yeah the third you know the credits and stuff but you know, let's just say if there's somebody who I know and like there was a lady, friend of mine, she lives in California. She needed some paperwork notarized um, to send down to the Virgin Islands. I know her, me and her worked together for years, family friend. So I was like, send me the document, um, uploaded it. And then we did the notary session. She got all the stuff that she needed and I didn't have to charge her. And I was only, and I was, and you know, like, see, the question is with some platforms, I don't know if they do it. I haven't looked into it. But like, if you don't want to charge somebody, do you still get charged for using your stamp? And I think the answer is yes. So even though you may not charge the person for, your, you know, the session, but you can still get charged, you know, by the by the platform. And and if that's the way they roll, that's the way they roll. Um, but I'm just not doing enough wrong, in my opinion, to justify that um good evening to you miss harriet hope i said that right and then it said that you submit to an example exemplar go through blue in order to get your feet wet and learn the ropes until you graduate into the big companies out there and then come over to clubhouse just love you some clubhouse <laughs> um and i don't know anything about blue notary um again as long as you can afford the platform and it's financially feasible for you that's really what it boils down to for me but um starting off i wouldn't advise just trying to sign up for five or six platforms that you're paying for now if you can do them all if you can do four or five platforms for free and then you gotta ask yourself okay which one you know what's what's the the difference or the benefits of them you know because i know some do biometrics like dot verify doesn't so it would be nice if I got on with a platform that did biometrics because I do come into that situation at times. But again, I'm not doing enough Ron stuff, <clears throat> my opinion, to justify doing that. So I'm OK with not making money that way um, and everything. So I'm OK, you know, with that. Um, then it says, have you done it? I, I have not done an IPIN before. I practiced it. I have practiced the IPIN, um, and I haven't yet. Haven't seen too many of these orders, and haven't, and but have noticed more. I've seen, I got more Ron closing. Look, I did a Ron closing today, and that's what I'm gonna talk to y'all about. And the people was in India. It was U.S. citizens. They was in India, um, probably visiting family. Um, that's what, you know they're from there, and 106 pages that I had. 
and I had 45 pages that had signatures on it. <laughs> and it wasn't like when it was each, and it was one page that had one, two, three, it had like seven signatures on it or eight signatures. So you're talking about probably over a hundred signatures. And I had to go through and make sure everything was right and not even counting the initials. There was, it was a commercial loan. Um, also they had things <clears throat> that they had to initial all of that. And so far, you know, I've been waiting to see a hope of you know, like the company was going to call me back and like, Hey, you missed that, that, that. And fortunately I haven't missed anything. Um, I didn't miss anything. So I was able to get it right the first time. And I'm going to show y'all just what I do when I, well, we're all, Ron's, but especially with a big one like that, <clears throat> what I did to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. But I've never seen an IPIN order. I don't know who is using that, looking for maybe law firms. Um, I don't know, but I have never been told to do an IPIN or asked to do an IPIN. So um, I, don't, I don't mess with it. I mean, now nah, I can do it on Dot Verify. Real simple to do. And I see some of that stuff I can't show y'all on here because um, I want to show people's personal stuff and all of that. But I do have training and this isn't for me to try to promote the training, but I'm just because I know somebody will have was asking me about that before. And we were talking about it on Super Notary Mom that Oswald is talking about here. Super Notary Mom. Um, yeah, because I started and I well, I even offered train. I even asked told people that they want to get some Ron train to understand dot verify just so you could get an idea that I was offering that. And I was only offering it for a hundred dollars. Sit down with you, take about two hours, and we'll go through from start to finish. And I will show you everything you need to know. And I'll show you a little bit of what I do here, but it's a whole thing that I do to get set up. And I actually would do a Ron session, you know, with you so you can see how it flows and everything so you do a ron session so you can see um how it flows and everything um and then provide you with some support and all of that um and then yeah you said blue notary is the cheapest for new york cool oh, that caramel ribbon country is good and stuff and a quick question are you noticing HELOC package it depends on the company there have been some that's over 100 pages. It depends on um, the company and I guess the terms of the deal. It, <clears throat> yeah, because I did a HELOC tonight, 31 pages, um, and it was $35. Well, <clears throat> and so, so I know that's going to make a lot of people mad out there. Ooh, Griff, you are killing us. You're hurting our industry, you bad notary you. You evil HELOC doer for under $4,000, you. Yeah, that's me. But um, I have seen a few. Um, I have seen a few that's over 100 pages, not a whole lot. And I can't even remember who the lender is, but it all depends on the lender <coughs> and in the, in the title company, I guess, um, how they do things. It may even, um, you may even have to take in consideration the state law um regulations and stuff like that um and then i've seen um some helocs that was like maybe 20 pages so it all depends um it really does all depend um they're mostly coming in bigger um yeah it all depends on the deal because it it, it you will have to pay attention really look at them and see because it all depends on the terms and what they're doing in the HELOC. They might have different conditions um, than other ones. <clears throat> um, I will say when it's two people on the HELOC, and when I say two people, meaning two people on the loan that's applying for a HELOC, they tend to be larger. When it's one person with just two people signing because the person is on the deed, they tend to be smaller. Um, that's what I've seen. Um, yeah, and then it said, let the lady get the exemplar proof. Okay, yeah, she can get the, the, the proof. Um, and then, yeah, I just, right now, I'm going to be honest with you. It's really about just taking the, well, 
for me, let me let me clarify. For me, for Griff of Griffin Notary Services and his household, the most important thing right now is just getting something more than zero dollars coming in on a daily basis. That means whether it's finding a $20 bill on the ground or doing an order for $20. Right now, it's about anything over $0, I'm rolling with. That's, that's, it's that simple. It's that simple. Orders come in, boom, I'm taking them. You don't want to take them, that's on you. You want to hem and haw? Loan application, I'm hopping on it. I ain't sitting here whining and crying, this, that, and the other. Hopping on Facebook and all that. I ain't got time for that. I'm out here trying to make money, take care of myself. And one of the things that I have found, and again, I've, as I've always shared with y'all, you need to question these people. What is your fine? I'll be honest. If you're talking about you need to have, okay, well, are you either broke or you got a whole bunch of money that you can sit here and him and haw about an $80 signing or a $45 loan application that you can see here you need more because either you're broken, you just need more or you actually are financially set, but you just feel you're just, you know, all she, she, foo, foo, all uppity and everything and something such as beneath you. I don't know. But if you come my way talking like that, I'm going to ask you the question. I'm like, okay, what's your background? What's, what's, where your money at? You know, what the heck is going on that you got to sit here and whine like a wet poopy baby that somebody asks you to do something for a dollar amount and you think that that is an insult to you. You know, because that's how people are coming across. Like, it's an insult. Like, you insulted my intelligence. And if you looked at the um, discussion that I had with Marcy, I think you'll realize real quick it's not an insult. It really isn't. And it says you have blue notary hybrid plan, $10 a call that comes through, at least in Florida. I just appreciate the experience and hear my price. So is that $10 you get, you get $10 a call. I guess that's what you're saying. So whatever your fee is that y'all can charge, you get $10 out of that for yourself. And if you're cool with that, boom. But keep in mind, when I got into Ron back in 2019, I don't think, well, there might have been these other companies, but I didn't know of them. I only knew of Dot Verify, and <clears throat> that's what I rolled with. Like I said earlier, it's like, like, I like caramel ribbon crunch. I won't get pumpkin spice, none of that other stuff. Caramel ribbon crunch. If they don't have caramel ribbon crunch or something caramelly <laughs> at Starbucks, I ain't buying it. It's that simple. I will not buy it. I, mm -mm. I say, y'all got something caramel on the menu? No, nah, we out of caramel. Bye. I walk right out. So it's, you know, it's, it's just a preference. And long as that preference works for you, that is what is important. So I'm trying to pull up some stuff here real quick. Like, um, let me see here. Cause I want to see if I can, I want to pull up something and show y'all. All right, so I think I can. Okay, so um, so one of the things that I do. Okay, so let me close that. And okay, open experience. And so I don't know. Um, you <clears throat> each platform offers different. Like I said, for me, the only. Other thing I would like to do with a, have a, with a platform is the biometrics um, for people who aren't U.S. citizens, um, or they might have lost their ID, something like that. Um, that's what I would like. Hoping my experience will be in my favor. <clears throat> Trust me, it will. Look, people trying to figure out how can Grip do sixty some. I think I did sixty seven signings last month. In this economy and the way things are, the reason why, and I had. I think I got 18, 19 this week, including the three for tomorrow. The reason why is because of the experience that I gained when things were slow and quiet back in 2018 <clears throat> 18 and 2019. 
And then I committed and de dedicated myself to the craft in 2020, 2021, as well as 2022, and just getting out there and working and not sitting up here whining and crying online every day about the prices just went out there. And as I did it, the prices kept getting higher and higher and higher. Okay. It, they just, it just happened that way. It just worked out to where other companies was like, oh, you're doing work. We want to use you. We like your reviews. Case in point, company on SnapDots called me up. Well, first, before they called, they sent out the notification. I said, yes, I'd never done one with them before. The lady called me to verify that I was available for it because <laughs> sometimes notaries will say, yes, I'm available. And, <clears throat> and then the only reason why I'm coughing, but this thing is so cold. And and then they don't be like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want to do it now for whatever reason. Or they in what was happening that notaries would take orders, get assigned it, and then they would show up. So they're like, I thought you, oh, well, yeah, I changed my mind because I got another order. So a lot of times they are actually verifying whether or not you are still there. So she called and she said that she, after she verified, talked to me for a little bit. And she said, I don't know if you know this, but you have some wonderful reviews on SnapDocs. I said, oh, I didn't know that. I said, well, you know, we can't see them. And she said, mustache hair sticking up. She said, yeah, you got some wonderful reviews. And I was like, okay, cool. I said, well, I'm glad I'm doing some good work. She said, they are very nice and people think highly of you. And they really appreciate the work that you're doing for them. And I ain't gonna lie, when she when when that when I hung up from the phone from her, I was like, yeah, boy. I was like, yeah, don't tell me I ain't the baddest notary around. That made me feel so good to hear that. I don't live for that. And I believe within my own self, based off of how I carry myself, that I am one of the best notaries around. But it does, it makes you feel good to hear it. To hear somebody who's doing a who's taking a chance on doing work with you for their first time. And that means what, people? What does that mean? Can anybody, what I just said, can anybody tell me in the comment, what did that mean? What does that mean for what she said? What does it say about her, the signing company owner? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all know the answer to this. What does it say about her? What she said about me and the, and the, and the, and the, um, and the reviews that people gave to me? What does it say? Mm-hmm. Come on, talk to me. Let me look at some of these comments here while y'all putting y'all answers in there. I, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This is not a trick question, okay? This is not a trick question. All right. For part of people. Then, Griff, have you ever told your clients instead of visiting them that you can do an online notary? Um, no. Well, well, it depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about for loan closings, no. You do not try to make a loan closing run without permission. You don't do that. If you're talking about non-loan closing stuff, um, then to be honest, I haven't. <laughs> now that I think about it, um, to be honest, no, I haven't. Because, and the reason why is because most of the people, when I'm talking to them, I can tell that they're not really thinking about doing it online or they're in a situation where they don't have time to go through that. Or if, if you talking to them, you know, you can probably tell that they're maybe not computer literate and it might be more labor intensive to try to get them to do it online. Now, if you're a person who's just like, I just don't want to do it in face to face. I'm like, then okay, you'll be willing to work through there and all of that. Okay, now okay, general notary work. Okay, got it. For general notary work, I really have not. Um, well, one I'm sorry, one time I did, and the only reason why I did was because the time that the guy needed it done, how quick he needed it done, and me and him was too far away from each other. And it was rush hour. And technically, we weren't that far, but with the traffic, it was going to take forever for me to go to him or him to come to me. And I took a chance and asked him, want to do it online? 
And he was like, you can? I said, yeah, if you got the doc, I said, email me the documents. And he was like, boom. I said, all right, cool. All right. Now, let's look at some of these answers. And I love them. And I love them. All right. So it says, yes, you must do your business. It's congrats, Grill. It said that she trusts you. Okay. Well, she has she has the beginning of trust until I until I do the closing, but that's I like that. Established relationships that now she can see that I have established relationships with other companies. That is good. You know what you're doing. That is true. I don't know what he mean by that. Um, or maybe he's saying that he didn't ask somebody anybody to do stuff online. That's probably what he meant. Confidence for liability trust. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then it says uh, that the title company believes in you and your work ethic. Cool. Means that her company is checking on the kind of work that you're doing. That is very close to the big thing. And um, that is it. This. And this combine those together. And what it means is your signings are successful. That is true. But <clears throat> what it means is this. She was reading my profile as well as the comments. So all of that, what you said, my profile and my comments and the comments about me equals everything that y'all put in there. And, and right, there you go, right there. She's doing her research. She's doing research. Now, if they're doing research, what do they find when they research you? If all they find is I'm a brand new notary and I took so-and-so's training course, okay, what does that say about you? Not a whole lot. I'm a new notary and I used to be in Phi Beta Kappa and I was a chief in the military and I used to work at Walmart. I used to be the, the Kmart blue light special manager. But does any of that tell me that you know what you're doing with this here position and this role and responsibility that you have? Where in your profile does it communicate that I can trust you? And several times y'all said trust, confidence. Where does it say that in your profile that they can trust you that they can believe in you that they can have confidence in you now you do that for your w-2 when you submit a um um your resume and you say well griff i ain't got a big resume i mean i'm just starting this business i'm just starting out in this business true but you can speak to who you are and what you can speak to what you understand about the business because just just imagine if you're if you have been let's just say a shift manager, okay, a shift leader, a night man. You just been a shift manager. I mean, leader. You didn't turn around and say, and somebody offers you, let's just say you're a shift leader, just in charge of the shift, that six hour shift. There's a six hour shift you're in charge of, okay, and there's five shift leaders in your in your company with this company. And we'll say at Burger King. And then all of a sudden you get offered, you see there's a job position for um, shift manager, meaning the manager in charge of all of the shifts. Your job is to ensure that all the shifts work right, <coughs> setting the schedules, all of that. Have you ever done that? No. You've just been in charge of when people come into work. How would you How would you tell people that you're the best qualified person for that? Now, you may not have done it, but you're not going to say, hey, I'm a new shift leader. <laughs> I got a shift leader pin. <laughs> I got the shift leader hat. No, you will find a way to communicate certain aspects of what you understand about what a shift manager is. And you will tie it into what you do as a shift leader. And you'll even tie in. Here's how as a shift manager, I will ensure that my and how I will ensure that the shift leaders are empowered to do their job to the best of their ability, as well as give them the support that they need if there's any kind of issues going on. That's what you would say. And you know you would. 
you would do the research and find out what are the elements and the key things that a shift manager needs to know and be responsible for. You will be all on Google, shift managing it, all, and then you will craft your resume to communicate that. You would not say anything that is not related to shift manager in your resume when you submit it. And that's for your W-2, but then for the notary world, you sit there and talk about all of this irrelevant stuff. You will talk about training that has nothing to do with truly empowering you to do your job correctly in accordance with your state law. But if you was in the W-2 world, you would never mention training that has nothing to do with the end goal. The end goal for us is not sitting there explaining documents. The end goal is notarizing the documents correctly the first time. That's the end goal for us as notaries. So what is the end goal in your mind? You need to make sure you're communicating that. What is the end goal for the signing company that's asking you to come on and take this order? The end goal is for you to notarize that bad boy correctly in accordance with your state law. That's what the end goal is. And everything in your profile should indicate to them that you understand that end goal and you're ready to do it. If you're not saying that in your profile, then you're really not saying anything in your profile. Boy, that was good. I might have to clip that and make that into a short. All right. You're right. I was thinking of that for some time and I came across your video on profile formatting and, and it gave me a different perspective how to present myself. <laughs> ULOL. That is right. I feel that if a leader is scheduling a shining signings after hours, someone should be able to call to verify. Um, now, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. All of that, the, the, the interest rate and all that, that's supposed to be getting taken care of before we get there. See, that's one of the problems, because when you think about what a notary is to do, a notary is supposed to make sure that, OK, are you OK with signing this paperwork? To me. If I'm rolling up in there and you don't know, you have no clue about what you're doing, that's a problem. That is truly, truly a problem that you have no clue about what you as a sign. You're like, I don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. I'm, I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I legally can stop the signing. Now, will the company be upset with me? Yes. Will they want, they might want, you want to take me to court. But I have my state law to stand on that if you, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I get here and you're like, well, can you? and then you start and they start asking me about details about the loan because they have no idea and nobody's been communicating with them and telling them what's going on. And they're, I can call and say da, 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 da. And I call the signing company and tell them, hey, look, I'm not sure, but something's wrong here. They're not feeling they're not too comfortable signing this because they have no clue and no one's communicated with them prior to me getting here. And they really need it. I think they need to talk to somebody. Can you get somebody on the phone to talk to them? And I've been in situations where they were not able to get a loan officer or anybody on the phone. And the person said, I'm not signing anything. I'm not signing anything. So you're right. It would be nice if somebody was available after hours, but a lot of times they're not. And unfortunately, some lenders, not all, and some title companies, not all, feel that, hey, look, we got this deal for you. Just sign it. Let's keep going. And they got tons of deals going on. They got tons of clients that they're trying to pull in the lender. So they got the current deal that they're trying to close. And then they got all these other deals that they're trying to secure to get the close. And then you're talking about, hey, I want to know. Now, here's the other side of the house. Did the lender provide them the ability to read those documents ahead of time, but they just did? So you have to watch your bleeding heart. And you're like, oh, wow. Oh, man, we got to save these, these signers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you get an email and I've asked them and then they said, Oh yeah, it's right here. 
So now they still got a decision to make whether they're going to sign it or not. And I've heard Linda say, well, we told you this and told you that. Don't you remember? Oh, you know what? Yeah, you did. Okay, so what's the problem? We had that discussion. So that's why you got to be careful about getting in there. And yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, make sure y'all hit the like button. I keep forgetting to put my thing on the deal up. But these are things you got to be mindful of. Um, says, not sure if the quest question was answered. Do you for verify for verify what? Um, I got my electronic seal from a site called Acorn. I'll pull it up when I get a chance. Um, absolutely, I had a sign of the other thing who was told he was getting one interest rate, but the paperwork says something different. We called him on, stated, yeah, and <clears throat> and they're supposed to send you out a new CD and everything. All right, sign. Chose to sign anyway because he needed the money, but was thinking <laughs> self so that was it was. And I've been in that situation where it was unfair. The person had to do what they had to do and stuff and everything. All right. So let me hit this Ron stuff real quick. So today I had a Ron. It was 106 pages. Um, the couple was in India. U.S. citizens in India, huge time zone difference. It was supposed to be at 1130 my time, but it ended up happening. Um, and, yeah, you can get your um, from um, I didn't trust to I didn't know about that. But I think I, later on I found out. But, yeah, the actual seal itself I got from a company called Acorn. If you get it from whoever you get it from, make sure you pay the extra if they offer it to proofread it first. Um, and I think mine was like it was like a an extra two dollar fee to proofread it. Um, Right. Let me let me pop this up here real quick, and I'll throw this in the. And I'll throw this in the chat. So yeah, this is Acorn Sales. I don't. I'm not affiliated with them. Um, I'll throw this in the chat. And I don't get any kickback <laughs> and stuff, but yeah, they sent me all these different versions of it. Um, yeah, and haven't had any problem with it. Now, dot verify will create one for you, so that's different. But I do have this. Um, I got the new one when I did my commission and all of that. Um, and when you do it. Go, you know, you pick your state and all of that, and they give you an option. Um, pro yeah, here it is, PDF. Oh, I'm sorry, that's so small. Y'all probably can't even see that. Right here it says PDF proof prior to production. Yes, add two dollars and ninety five cent. I'm gonna tell you that is the best thing you can ever do if you use them, um, because you want to proofread it before they put it into production just to make sure you didn't misspell something. And the first time I did one, I actually did. I had, I forgot what I misspelled, but I misspelled something or I put something wrong with the date and I didn't catch it before submitting it. And then when they send it back, I looked at it and I like, oh snap, I made a mistake. And then I corrected it. Cause if you don't do that, then they're going to produce it. And what they produce is it. And, then, and you say, oh, I made a mistake. Well, another $15, <laughs> okay. You're going to have to pay another $15 for it. To me, $15 is a good price um, and all of that. So I didn't trust or this. Now, the seal, now this is talking about the printed seal. Now, I'm not talking about the digital certificate. That's different. This isn't the digital certificate for your computer, okay? 
So I know I didn't trust us the digital certificate um, for your, you know, for your um, computer and all of that, that you use the e-sign stuff and all of that. Now, if you're talking and I don't know if they do the actual seal at Identrust, I'm pretty sure they probably do. So it don't matter to me where you get it from. You get it from wherever that fits your budget, that's cost effective or whatever, you know, it's up to you. You know, but this is the only one that I knew. And again, like I said, I'm that uncle who likes that cutlass, that 76 cutlass. So I just stick with what I know that works for me. I'm not when it comes to the e-notary stuff, I'm not trying to bounce around to 15 different things and stuff. All right. So let me hop over here and pull this up. And my man said I bought mine for my just purpose to go to other platforms that I didn't trust sales to not every round platform we use. Yeah. And yeah, do your research because like I said, with dot verify, they, pr they pr produce one for you. You, when you do it, it and I'm going to show y'all what mine look like, bitch, they just do it for you. You don't have to buy anything extra. Um, your digital certificate, um, I can get mine from my dentist. You can upload one from someplace else, but mine is like, I think now it's like a hundred and some bucks for five years or three years or something. Well, when I bought mine, mine was $99 for five years, but they've got other people in charge of ident of dot verify. So the pricing has changed. So, um, so when I did this 106 pages, the key thing is keeping track of what pages you got stuff to do on, because one of the fallacies in my opinion with dot verify is that if you're not putting an element, a, uh, initials, um, um, or a signature on a page, it doesn't indicate to you that something needs to be done on that page. So you can have a notarial certificate on a page that doesn't have their signature. And if you're not paying attention, <laughs> you can miss that page because there's nothing. Because every time you put something on the page, it indicates it to you. And all of that. Um, and I show people that in that training that I do. But this here is what I do. Every time I do a run, I pull out a sheet of paper and I write down every single page that has something that needs to be done on it, whether it's a signature, initial, or notary. I do that for every single page. And as you see, it was 45 pages. So I went from page one all the way through. And I just, and I go through every page and I look at all of them. And I just write down each page number that has something that needs to be done to it. Every single page. And then this, then when I have the, you know, with the circle and I got three of them, that means I'm notarizing. It. That's something that I have to notarize. This here was um this one had multiple signatures from them so it had like five from him and four from her might have been six from him but it had at least eight or ten signatures <clears throat> so that was just me saying okay make sure you pay attention to this page and don't miss anything this here 66 was supposed to be in a triangle it was saying that i needed to um put my name on there as a witness to their signatures not notarized it was had nothing to do with notarizing it was just that i was saying that i witnessed them sign that page um number 90 was their funds distribution page so i had i wanted to make sure i did not forget that so they can um add their information in there for them to get the money that they needed and Normally, which I didn't do here, normally I will strike through each one as I've gone through and check them. And I actually will go back through and, yeah, this is my scratch pad. And I will go back through and I check the document multiple times. When I say multiple times, I'm saying prior to me uploading the document, I'm looking at the document about seven or eight times, making sure everything is noted okay because your eyes can play tricks on you sometimes and if you're tired or whatever you could really be like oh man and you'll think you meant to do something and you'll forget and 
it's, it's, it's all jacked up and everything. So now here's the thing about the documents, because a couple of things you can do with the documents. Um, so this here's example, this is a, a um, loan modification that I uh, redacted and stuff. I just made up a name, put it down here, LaShawn Brown. <clears throat> now, and I'm going to show you all some stuff. So, hold up one second. Let me get this other thing up real quick. Okay, I got that. Hold on one second. I got to get one more thing up for y'all. Nope, that is not what I want. Hold on one second, party people. Let me see, is this one of them? Okay, okay. All right, so that's one of them. And hold on one second. This is this was just a little bit on the fly. <laughs> So, no, I don't have all of my stuff together with this here. All right, so let me open this up. And oh, I know I can't do that, but I should be able to do this. All right, so. What is that? Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, hold on. All right, okay, I got it now. So I need this. This, what the heck is it? This, oh, I need that. Okay, and I'll do that one too. All right, so yeah, like I said, this is really on the fly and okay, create. Page. Yes. All right. So I think I'm straight now. All right. So I can delete you. Open this up. All right. Yep. 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 We good. We good. All right. I think we good to go here. All right. So sorry about that, y'all. I had to get some other stuff straight. All right. So <clears throat> one of the things here with doc with with the documents is that you want to make sure you have enough space for your elements. Okay. So one of the things that I do, I will add the dates in here myself. So there's nothing to add here for her name because that's where she's going to sign. Put the date and you can hit edit PDF. And as y'all can see, you got those little dots around there that lets you know those particular areas, areas are editable. So like this here. So I would just just get I would get rid of these here. And then all I would do is I would add text <clears throat> and then you know put my date in there. So I was just going to put my date in there. If that can't be moved, edited, then I would just put it in between each slash myself. My county is Virginia Beach. I always make sure my county's, you know, stuff is in caps for official purposes. I'm throwing in the date, you know, what the date is. The day is the sixth. <clears throat> day uh October. And then 20239. Now, if for some reason it's too big you can um you know resize it now let's say if you feel this is too tight right here and let me zoom in a little bit on y'all i'm sorry about that y'all um under the edit and just follow me y'all remember y'all can always go back and look at this later um sometimes you can just you know you might want to you know you may want to move that down a little bit that line so it's not too tight on top. And then you got that. And then you can just drop that down a little bit. Now, 
one of the things that I do is my signature block area. I try to create a larger space for that. And one of the ways I just, I know this is getting technical, y'all, but I highlight all of that. And if there's enough space, enough room down here, I'll do that. So that way I have enough space for my digital signature that will go there because the signature sometimes can be big and you don't want it to cover up that stuff. Um, I'm going ahead on and drop in my expiration and all of that. And then it said this remote monitor communication activity and in there, I just throw an X. And feel free to drop in any questions while we're doing this, okay? Um, so that's when you have a what they call an OCR or editable um, PDF. Now, from time to time, you'll get a PDF that you can't edit. So I'm already in the edit mode. But if you notice this little graphic up here, that means you see the whole thing is like an image. When it's like an image, you can't shift anything around. You can't move nothing. Everything has to stay it's, it's static. There's nothing you can do. So that means it gets a little tight when you start trying to add stuff in there. So what I do is if let's just say if this was a um a, whatchamacallit, a um an area that needed to be notarized, notary certificate, I'm gonna add in my own notarial certificate. Okay. And one of the ways you can do that is by clicking on here. And let's just say, you know, I say, okay, well, I want to add in, insert a page from a file. Um, hold up. Insert a page. Where the heck did I put that stuff at? Ah, here it is. I got my docs. And then I have my own um, Ron. I got ones for Ron. So we'll just say if it's an acknowledgement and put it in after page two. Now, what I did was I redid this, Ron. This is from this certificate from the NNA, and I made this space here bigger so that my my signature from dot .verify can fit in here, okay? Because I was having a hard time getting it to fit in there neatly and it was covering up stuff. So I went and remodified this, you know, and made it a little, you know, larger. And then you will fill in all of this stuff. You will fill in all of this stuff down here and you're good to go and all of that. And then you added it in there instead of using um, the notarial certificate that you can't shift around on the actual document itself. You will just use um, this. You will use you know, one from your state or NNA or whoever, okay? So this here, you can shift this around, move this around however you want. When you save it, do a save as and name it something else, dash Ron. So you won't change the original in case you have to go back and do something to the original. I always leave the original the way it is and I do a save as, okay? Um, then this here, Trying to think. This is another thing that I got redacted. So now, like right here, and these are little fake names that I made up. I just be coming up with stuff. Um, so like this here, this will be a little tight inside of dot verify. So what I would do is and highlight all of that. And I will move that down some so that I will have more space for their signature. Same thing here. Move that down just a touch. So that way I have a little more space for their signature. And some, and again, they don't notice. Your client is not going to notice. So you do that. Now, if you can't modify that, then you just got to roll with, you know, roll with what you got. <clears throat> and what I would do is. I would end up putting, and let me use this here to, as a way to draw. 
Um, so what I would do is I would have end up having a signature more over here than instead of trying to stick it under there and end up accidentally covering it. So that's what I would do. I would, you know, so let's just say if these people had to sign and I couldn't move it, then I would more or less put the signature space over here. So then that way, nobody is, it's not blocking, it's not covering up because, you know, you do it and then next thing you know, it's like that. And some people might not like that. Okay, just giving you a heads up. Um, they may not like that. So then on this here, now this shows you what the digital signature looks like for me. Okay, and as you notice right here, it's sort of covering up this just a little bit. I got lucky with that <laughs> covering up um, because I forgot to move this down a little bit more. This here is my digital, this is my seal coming from dot verify. And no one has came back, no court house has come back and said, we don't accept that seal. I've never had it rejected, okay? And then you see here, I just made up some names here um, and all of that. Added in my county for where I'm at and all of that good stuff. So if I can't modify this, I'm going to just add a digital certificate. Any questions? Any questions from what y'all seeing, things y'all thinking, um, and all of that. So it says, for those who use Blue Notary, is the blurb on top of your stamp <coughs> stating notarization was performed, dot, dot, dot. And there's this thing down here. I don't know why it got covered. Maybe I, maybe I, I might have did something. But it tells you down here it was done by electronic notarization. Um, and then, yeah, here we go. It shows up better here. So it says it right here. The act was performed by audiovisual communication. And so, and then as you see now, this is the old thing. Dot verify changed this, my signature uh, signature seals, and they're actually a little bit bigger. So, um, and you can shrink them down, but sometimes it don't look good. I prefer it to be a little bit bigger. So that's why I made that extra space. This is the seal. I made up these names here and all of that. And then I sat there and put all of that stuff in there. Okay. Um, what else? And then this here is how the signature looks when you put it in for that person. And you can see what I'm saying here about how tight this is. Um, and I did this on purpose when I was doing some training with a person to show them so they can get an idea that it gets pretty tight right here you know um same thing with your witnesses and all of that kind of stuff it can get really 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 tight right here and stuff so ideally i probably would have put it more over here now the crazy part is this inside of dot verify when you go to put the um the little um placeholder here for the signature it actually looks like this. It looks long, maybe not that long, probably like something like this. So you're thinking that it's gonna be way over here. It's not, it, they compress it pretty good. And if for some reason the person's name is long, it will double stack it. It will put name on top and the bottom. So that's why what I would actually do is if I can space it out better, cool, if not, I would stick it off to the side so it wouldn't be right up under here and then accidentally cover that and stuff. And the same thing up there. Um, and so now here's where it's nice and placed, nice and neat. It's not covering anything below or on top. That's what you want. Okay. And then this here, and let me drop this down a little bit. So this, and like I said, this is a transaction session thing I was doing. This is what dot verify puts on the first page. This is barcode summary of everything that need that was done, or, you know, like all the people in the session and all of that kind of stuff, whether you personally knew the person, you know, all of that. And then this is the cover page. And I always tell people, keep the cover page with it. 
and then it has you know whatever the id code is and all of that you know so that's it now with dot verify stuff you cannot modify because uh, i took it out of there yeah okay so i took it out of there so but with dot verify when it's in the original dot verify you can't change it and that's what some people are trying to do they're actually going in here and modifying the dot verify stuff they're trying to get rid of the the numbers and all of that and combine five don't get caught up in doing that kind of stuff um and all of that any other questions and i'm trying to think there was something else that i wanted to show y'all concerning this talk to me y'all <laughs> help me remember what i was going to say if the document does not have the venue is it okay to add and correct it anywhere around um if you can you can you can add it yeah um as long for me it's about the neatness um because here's the thing there are a lot of people who do not like ron closings ron anything um what if there's no space and you can put being said well if you go back i was just saying that just add a notarial certificate what i've what i've learned to do is you want this to be as neat looking as possible you don't want to give them any reason to say such and such no your your stamp is covering this or your signature is coming in. we can't see this we don't know you don't want to do that so you want to make sure that everything is um as clean and clear as possible okay and you say are you using adobe acrobat or any special version um this is the adobe pro the paid version of adobe that's what i'm using um i'm using adobe pro and what i do that's why and see i don't ask the customer to upload any files you send me the files what is general notary work or um loan closing i want the documents myself <clears throat> so that i can see what i'm dealing with and that way i will know whether or not i need to add a notarial certificate or not from my recollection i'm not able to add a notarial certificate in dot verify once i get my session started i can't add a page so i need to do that ahead of time and that's one of the big fallacies of dot verify and that's why a lot of people will go to the other platform which is nothing wrong with it because they typically do stuff here or they found a way to do it online and that's something that dot verify really needs to um fix they need to allow you to add a notarial certificate where you can upload them on there and then you can just drop it in as need be i don't know why they don't have that feature but they don't. Um, trying to think. <coughs> any any other questions, party people? Come on now. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. What y'all got going on? I know y'all got questions. Come on now. Y'all been y'all been hankering for this. Y'all know y'all been wanting to talk about this Ron stuff. A lot of people, you know, getting into it. So so talk to me let me see here i'm trying to pull some other stuff up for y'all <clears throat> to show let's see if there's something in here that i can show y'all <clears throat> where is it Ah, I can show you all this. And this is from one of the trainings that I did. I was showing the person um, the different size of the notarial. <laughs> all right, yeah, here's a good one. Um, what is a good source or a place to get Ron clients outside of loan signing? That is a good question. Um, I would have to I would have to defer to what Amy from um Amy I always lost life, from Cyberize it says. Just tell people about it. Just promote it. Just to, 
but you need to make sure that you're comfortable with whatever platform you're using and am I, you know and have and this is what i'm adding to it and have the tools and everything in place and you know you can do this thing okay like one time i was having a problem with on dot verify where the virus protection the virus software on my computer was blocking my camera and i couldn't use my i was like and so i had to do it on my phone i realized that and i got and it was a and it was my new computer and i got rid of that virus protection <laughs> on software I think it was McAfee and I don't use McAfee. I use PC Matic and it works on. Um, yeah, I pay for Adobe um, like 19 bucks a month or something to that effect and all of that. Now, here's an example of what happens. Whoops, this side. If you don't have enough space, as you can see here, the seals start just about covering some of the words. You don't want that because you can have somebody in the recorder's office. That might. Take issue. They might take issue and like, oh, your seal was covering up some of the lettering. And now you got to do it and you don't want to do that on your own dime, you know, so you want to make sure that even this here isn't covering up anything. And this is not translucent. This is a, a graphic. That's why. And this is me squinching it. And y'all can see the quality isn't really there. Okay. The image quality isn't there for my signature. And that's real blurry. Um, and it was something else that I needed to show y'all. I'm just training thing. Here it is. So y'all can see you can see the different size of the stamps. So this is normal. This is <coughs> right now the normal way dot verify does it. And then this is me making it a little bit smaller. And if you can make it small and fit in here nice and neat, but I will say this, what I've learned is that when I Whatever size you think it is, it's a little bit bigger. So that's the best way I can tell you because it's not a one to one. It's like if I shrink it down and I'm like, OK, I want it to fit in here. And then, yeah, that'll be it winds up being just a touch bigger. And then it's blocked. Then it's covering up something up here. So you have to be careful about that. What happens when you have to cross out a venue that was typed by error? How do you fix it? Okay. So let's say, I mean, a couple of things you can do. <clears throat> if for some reason you can't, so in this here case, oh, that's right. I can't edit this. Um, I'll use this one. The other. So let's just say, all right. So let's just say you can't edit this here on the page. Let's say for some reason you you don't even have a certificate to add in there. Add text. And then you can click. Well, what I would do is click and then that. And I would do it to a point there. So that's my line out. And then I will add text again. And then there's, it don't matter whether your initial large or small, you know, uppercase or lowercase. And then boom. So that's me lining through. And then you add whatever. And that's, and I actually, that's what I started off doing before I understood that I could edit stuff in Adobe like that. So I would just line through. Now, if I'm on doc verify, it is very, it can be done and you got to really focus on doing it, but you can do the same thing on doc verify. And I've done it in the past. Um, and it turned out okay. It did, you know, and the same thing here, I would just put the line through, or let's just say, I think you can do it even better here with um let's say with this tool here 
and then change that to black. So if you want it to be a little bit bolder to make it, and then you click that, CG. This one is hard for me to. I always have a hard time with this one. Mm -mm. There we go. And then drop my initials over there. So you can do a couple of different ways, you know, you can do it with the text and that's a little, a little too thin. You can just draw a line. They don't know the difference. And then if you do that, you can do it that way. And then you go in there and add in, um, the, add in that. So you can, you know, let's just say Florida, you know, Jacksonville, since that's where I grew up. I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. And, and then if you want, you can make it smaller. You know, that's up to you completely. And then boom. And then you're like, okay, cool. You know, um, I would move that a little bit because that's covering it up. And again, for me, it's about the neatness. Okay. <laughs> Did that answer your question, young lady? It's about the neatness to the best of my ability to make it look neat so that anybody who's watching, who's recording this, don't come up with some reason not to use it. Because let's just say I'm doing like I did the one for the people in India. I do not want to have to call them and be like, uh, y'all got that is, and I've done that in the past, and it is not a good feeling. It is more embarrassing and more frustrating than <clears throat> redoing a face to face. With a face to face, you can just show up at the person's door and they don't even have to come out the house, don't even have to let you in, and they can sign it right there, boom, and you gone. But when you do this, now, you don't necessarily have to, you may not have to do the ID verification because you've already known them. It's already verified. But just the whole simple fact of getting back online just to do this one page, or if they turn around and say, yeah, you messed up on that one page, but we want the whole thing redone. We not we don't want it just that page. We want the whole thing redone. So now you got to redo. That's why I said don't save over the original, save as a copy and everything so you know this is what i do now one of the other things and i can hold on hold on who hit me up somebody who hit me up this time of night ah nobody all right all right so um <clears throat> how many pages are you allowed to upload in the system um with dot verify it is about the size and i think anything over 10 megabytes sorry about that y'all that bad boy was good i'm done with that one um it was like 10 megabytes <clears throat> now i will also say keep bouncing back and forth y'all in adobe they have a feature called reduce file size so if the, if it comes across like the file size is too big you can reduce it um yeah you can reduce it now and what's amazing is that there are people when they scan documents they scan them as an image <clears throat> and then save the image as a pdf and that makes the file size bigger and for some reason, and they can't they can't figure out how just to scan it as a PDF 
or when they're in Word, you can convert it from Word to a PDF. They don't know how to do that. <clears throat> on the copy of machine, it has a scan feature. They just scan as an image. They don't care. They just scan as an image, throw it to you, and then it's like, I can't do, I, I can't use this. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, you know, all the signature blocks are real tight on top of each other, all of that kind of stuff. And they don't know OCR. They don't know how to do that. They won't try because they're rushing, rushing, rushing. And I can't try to walk them through it because I don't know what kind of systems or equipment, you know, that they're, they're working with software and all of that. So you just sort of like, but um, I think when I've gone over 10 megabytes, that's when it, the system like, hey, you, your file's too big. And there's two different ways you can upload documents. And I think I could have uploaded in a different way. <clears throat> but I didn't. Okay. I didn't. And I think, hold on one second, y'all. There might be something I can show y'all on dot verify because I just don't want people's personal. Not that I really got anything, but hold on. Let me pull this up for y'all real quick. Let me see if I can pull this up and show y'all something. Let me log into this real quick. I might be able to do this for you real quick, like. So that, 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 that. Um, okay. So, okay, here we are. All right. I keep doing the wrong thing. All right. Hold on one second. All right. Um, I think I can do it from here. All right. So new e document and dot verify. Oh yeah, I'm all out of ID tokens. I got to get some more. I'll buy some more later. All right. So you can load up the file. Just all right. When it's like this, when it's like this. You have to pay for dot verify. Well, there's a free version to it, but to do what we do for us, Ron and all of that, that's the enterprise version, and you got to pay for that. Um, seventy-five dollars monthly or seven eighty for the year, which comes out to sixty-five a month. So, as you see, so document type, the type of notarial act. I always just select acknowledgement. It doesn't allow you to select multiple ones. The county, whatever county you're in for your state. So this is state specific, the date that you're gonna be doing it on, the fee that you're gonna be charging, and then how many participants. And then down here, it has a participant. So if you got three participants, boom, 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 three different participants down here. Oops, I need to move that. Three different participants. You got email addresses down here that you can select from. Um, or you can just add the email address in here. So you got different email addresses. So like, so this is if I personally, you know, if I know the person, you know, the ID type, all of that. Now this, now when it's set up like this, it says right here, are you doing wrong? The answer is no, this is IPIN. When, you, when it's like that, and it tells you right here, IPIN, in-person notarization. Your, it's set up like IPIN, okay? In-person notarization. If I click this, say that is wrong, it'll tell me I don't have enough ID credits and all of that. And it won't let me pro progress until I buy some more. And then now it's wrong. And it tells you right here, remote online notarization, credits, ID credits, all that kind of stuff. And when you have the email in here, it's going to send that person an email. And this is saying that you do not know them personally. If you do know them personally, and then as it says here, it has all of their contact information in there. All right. So I know I don't have enough ID credits. So that's what this is. Okay. So once you get it all set up, upload the file, they got the template stuff. I don't mess with the templates. The temp, that's if you got the same thing you're doing over and over and over again. 
I don't have that. So there's no need for me to do the templates. All of my stuff is basically originals. This here is the key. This here says disable initial notification to signers. The answer is either yes or no. Yes, disable it, meaning don't send it to them, or no, go ahead on and send it. Meaning when you click the button, it will send out a email to them, letting them know it's time for them to go ahead on and get started with the ID verification process. And there's some videos that I have. I don't have time to show you all here, but there's some videos that I found on YouTube that I send to them that a law firm put together. And then I have a special video that I put together on the ID verification process and what to expect when they go in here. Um, so. And then once you got everything done, is all the information correct? You know, you'll say yes. And because I don't have the ID stuff, well, don't, don't have a document loading all that, doesn't give me the ability. Then you hit submit new notary and all of that. And this is what I take people through when I do the training with them. Um, I either do it in like a group of three or one on one. Now, Oswald asked about escrow tab. Yes, I've looked into escrow tab. And when I now I'm just checking because sometimes I get um okay. I get you know a notification from a notary in 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 help in trouble, they need some help and everything, and they just uploaded my stuff for tomorrow. All right, cool. So um when I talk to escrow tab, and this goes all the way back to, I believe this lady here on to go mobile or somebody asked, said, um, no, that was um, the other lady. I don't forget that. That was, who was it? Um, Melissa Kitchen, I believe, saying that she didn't see any IPIN stuff. I asked escrow tab, do you have any IPIN work in my area? And they said, no. So I wasn't thrilled about spending $1,600 or whatever it was at that time on a laptop and there was no work in my area. Then I found out that, oh, Dot Verify does IPIN. So I was like, no need to spend money on the laptop. When I got that, I have a tablet <clears throat> over here or on my phone. I can do IPIN from that. So I don't need it. But the thing is, I've never been asked to do IPIN. Escrow tab is for IPIN. OK, you got to have the work. And this is the number one thing that I'm trying to get y'all to understand is that boy, people don't drop out of here. Nobody. Oh, everybody always asks me about Ron. And every time I start talking about Ron, people scatter or they realize that it's a little bit more. Labor intensive than what they thought. Nonetheless, we push on people. So here's the thing. With all of these different facets out here um loan closings non-loan closing work aka general notary apostille um the trust the trust work trust um you know um estate planning and all of that ipin ron the question is is that work in your area can you get it even even if it's not in like ron who out there is looking for Ron notaries? That's the question. Who out there is looking for Ron notaries? Who is looking for IPIN? Who is looking for somebody to do trust documents? Who is looking for somebody to do Ospostil? Who is looking for? It's not that any of those that they're bad or taking the training for that is bad. It's nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, the question is: Is the work available? So you go to get a degree. And as they say, basket weaving, nothing wrong with that. Is there basket weaving here? Or do you have to go somewhere else? And if you're not willing to do the extra to get the work or go where the work is at, then guess what? You're not going to make any money. So you can buy all the courses you want. I'm not saying you not to, I'm not saying to do so. What I'm saying is you as a business owner got to do your own due diligence. Are you going out here and finding out whether or not there's business? When I was Going through the escrow tab stuff, I got to I'm like, and I think they have a tab um a mobile app now, which is good. 
So you don't have to buy that laptop, which I would have been upset <laughs> and the laptop and then they come up with the app. Hopefully, you know, but then you could have leased the laptop and all that. But nonetheless, only question I had was, do you have work in my area? It's either yes or no. Now, of course, they say you can go market. My concern was me marketing myself to somebody who they marketed to and was told no. And this is a very real thing, people. And again, this is not trying to throw shade on. This is not throwing, not no try. This is not throwing shade on escrow tab or anything. No matter what you're being told that you can go do. If the people who you're marketing to has already been marketed to by the people who told you to go market, guess what? That can make you look bad. That can put you in a bad light. You're coming to me about something that I've already turned down. Well, I'm sorry, sir, man. I didn't know. So now I feel bad and it can make me look some kind of way. And I, and I was concerned. I didn't want to be in that position. And it's not, again, that the escrow tab is wrong. It's if they already told them, no, I don't want to walk into some place asking you to do something that you've already said no to. Because this is my business and you're in my area. They may not be in my area. And I and and if you got a couple of thousand dollars worth of work, you know, closings, I don't want every time I come up there to do something for you. Like, yeah, they, he gonna, is he going to try to push that escrow tab on us again? We already said no. I don't want that stigma on me. Now, you might be cool with it. I'm not. So that's a concern that I have as a business owner. This ain't about me, Griff. Just as a business owner, you if somebody else is not doing good or failed at something, you don't want to walk in those same shoes. Are they successful somewhere else? Yes. If they're not successful here, those are shoes that I don't want to walk in. Now, I don't know how many of you agree with that, but that's just my take on it. It's that simple. Case in point, guys who try to approach a young lady a certain way, Ladies who try to approach a guy some a certain way, you say what? Well, you're not like, okay, well, if all the other guys went at that person like this and they got turned down, I got to come up with my own way. Or I want to disassociate myself from that crowd of these guys who look this way or these girls who dress that way or these guys who dress that way. Because, you know, you got the guys that dress a certain way and you already know what they're about. You got the guys that are, you got to be careful. You're like, ah, I'm going to stay away from that stay away from that and i'm gonna be my own self to get what i want to get where i need to be so my approach would be let me just get in with the company and maybe through the course of some time they might talk about some escrow tabs ish stuff or think about getting with them or they might talk about just in general i pin or here's a better way to do it. You get in good with them and you're sitting there working on something and they're like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I was sitting here, you know, just trying to figure out this iPad stuff. I was doing some reading on what iPad is and just that. And you know, I was just trying to get an understanding of because I keep hearing people talk about it. Now that way really, you're putting a filler out there. You're not asking them to do iPad, but you're just talking about, hey, I'm just trying to learn. I'm just reading this article from the NNA about iPad stuff. Just trying to figure it out. And then they might spark up the come. Well, tell it. Well, if you find out some information, let us know about it. Hey, I will. Um, well, matter of fact, if you what, what can, are there some things that you want? Is there anything in specific you want me to find out or you're concerned about? Well, you know, matter of fact, yeah, I would like to know. Okay, well, cool. Let me write this down. No problem. Let me look into it and I'll get back with you. Boom. There's different ways to approach this. You see what I'm saying? You got to think outside the box. And too much of stuff, what we're being taught as notaries, is keeping us in this little tiny box. And you're not really expanding your view on how to market stuff. You're trying to do it the same way as everybody else. And you got to be willing to come up with your own way and stuff. Is that I'm getting here late, but I appreciate all the knowledge. Definitely will be here for the next part. Next part. 
All right. Oh, it's, oh, it's getting late here. Oh, where are you at? You in Russia? Because <laughs> if you're on the East Coast, it ain't getting late. Look, part of people, we up late. We, we, now nah, we ain't going to be here tonight. And, and everything, now nah, we ain't going to be up here too, too late. But, um, but yeah, it is getting late. And then I got training I got to do with my the YouTube channel members tomorrow, um, which I meant to, people's asking about that. But, all right, let me close out of that. So, in short, whatever you want to do with Ron, find the best way to do it. I'm going to talk for another hour. Find out what works best for you and roll with it until it doesn't work. And when it doesn't work, find something to replace it. And before it don't stop, before it stops working, already have your plan in place. That's what good business people do. Um, that's all I'm doing. I'm researching, trying to see what's out there. And if you're not trying to find something to replace it, just be aware that you might not be making money to the level that you want. And if you're cool with that, then go with that. Don't be guilt tripped into doing stuff that you don't want to do or feel to, you don't have a vision. You're like, nah, don't get don't get guilt tripped into that. Just roll the way you want to roll and be happy with it. That's all I'm asking y'all to do. That's all I'm doing, and you should be good to go. So um, I don't see any other questions. I guess the dot verify or just Ron stuff was too much for some people. They bounced out of here. Um, not the on to go mobile closings lady, but other people like, oh, okay, yeah, that dot verify is like, you know, and just Ron in general. I get it, you know, but you got to do what you got to do. And I make great money doing this. It pays the bills and stuff. So when somebody asks me to do Ron, I'm on it. They pay me well. Um, my goal is to get it done right the first time. And I'm at a point now after five years of doing this. And I know other people got there quicker than me, but I wasn't doing a whole lot. So it took me five years, maybe four and a half, to get to a point to where I could do a Ron session error free. I'm talking about every single one, error free. That's what it is. All right, man. Yeah, I'll give you a call because I'm going to go to bed in a little bit. But yeah, I'll give you a call real quick. But that's the key. And you can do it error free. They'll pay you the money, whatever that money is for you. All right. Well, y'all have a good one. I don't see any other questions, concerns, comments. Looks like all hearts and minds are clear at this moment. So thank y'all again for hopping on. I had my little nightcap and print these three sets of documents out. And I am going to bed. All right. Talk to y'all later, party people. Peace.